Here we are for day two of what I am affectionately dubbing the long weekend. I normally don't work three days in a row on this place, normally have a day off in between, and that's besides my normal, normal job. Uh, but I'm here. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of the same things today that we did yesterday. I'm going to start with some windows and then uh, likely do some painting. But I have set a goal for myself right, as part of the last video. Over the course of the next, well, today and tomorrow, I would like to have this part of the uh, apartment really buttoned up. So the painting, after all the issues I had um, with the, the paint for the first coat, uh, went, went pretty well uh, in here. And the paint, I got my first coat on in here. This room still needs some work from a paint perspective, but I'm anticipating getting that done today. My goal at the end of this weekend is to have everything out of this room other than the the stops and the window pieces that I, I I won't put up yet basically I'll just put them up inside of the the openings there so they're off the floor and have this place all cleaned up to have all the painting done in here so all the painting is done except for you know this part here my goal is to also get this uh, get this um, uh, sheet rocked uh, that's it's a stretch goal <laughs> um, and then in here uh, I think I don't have anything else to do except a little bit of painting, though the walls look pretty good. Um, I need to do the doors and I need to do the, uh, the some a little bit of trim in various places. I actually still need to add in more trim, but uh, stay tuned. <laughs> we'll, well, we set some ambitious goals for ourselves. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Let's get to it. So one thing I've found on these windows is when they come from the factory, they're not really ready to go. Um, the welds aren't great in places where you want them to be, you know, reasonable. Um, where a bad weld will increase the pressure either on the bottom of your window or the front of it, or increase the size of the gap or cause a gap. So one of the things that I've been doing when I open them up is to essentially hit the bad welds with a chisel and clean them up where I need to so that they don't cause that gap. All right, so I've got the other window in. Um, I would say with all the, the prep that I had to do, uh, probably about an hour and a half per window. And that includes hauling them up from the barn and the extra stuff that I have to do for the stops on the sides and all that. So um, realistically, uh, with some prep ahead of time, because I did do some prep to fill the, the window wells, uh, sorry, the weight wells, the insulation, um, I would say an hour, about an hour per window is probably realistic if you've done quite a bit of prep ahead of time or maybe even faster. That second one went in within like maybe a half hour to 45 minutes. So good news for me is that I've got these four done. I've got this one done and I don't have any more windows. 
So uh, I'm actually done with windows in this room right now, which, which makes me really happy. Uh, and when I say done, right, I just have to caveat that. Uh, I still have to put the um, spray foam in on the sides. I don't have any today, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, and then put the stops back on the outside. Those need to be cut. So I actually still have quite a bit of work to do in here. Uh, but it's not like messy with caulk or, you know, whatever else um, that I'm going to have to deal with. So at some point, I'm getting my table saw over here. And I'm going to use that to just rip through all of these all at once. Not in this room, probably in another room. All in all, it wasn't a super painful process. Um, very happy with how these turned out. I think up next, I think we're going to be doing some painting. So I have done all of the trim painting in these three rooms, and that's about all I can do right now. Because the kitchen's in no, no uh, state to paint. The front room where all my tools are, same thing. In the bathroom, I'm gonna get away with as little painting as I can. For now, all the trim is done. I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do about the, the hydronic uh, baseboards. Um, I'm gonna try and clean them up as best I can, but they're like this almond color. I really don't want to paint them, so I'm going to resist for now. And once everything is done, I'm going to make a decision about whether I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, get some lunch, go wash my brushes, and then uh, come back and we're going to start rolling the walls uh, as well as um, doing some of the trim areas in the other room that I haven't done yet. And then after that, I am going to be uh, putting together a materials list. And then uh, tomorrow morning, or maybe this afternoon, go to pick up some stuff, and then we're gonna get this all. I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good right now, as far as getting this stuff done. But we'll see. Uh, but hopefully, we can get these three rooms at least buttoned up. So, stay tuned. All right. So I'm back, all fed and watered. So that's good. A little, a little happier now. First, I'm gonna do the uh, area on the baseboards, and I'm gonna roll the walls. So. Once that's done, that will be it for this room. Let's get going. I love this thing. I don't think I'm ever gonna not use it again. Maybe if I have some small jobs or something like that, but this thing's amazing. It saves so much time, and it's basically a nine inch roller times two. So everything gets done in double the time, half the time, faster. So when I stood here to start the day, I actually wasn't really sure what I was gonna get done, uh, but now I'm feeling pretty excited. So I ended up getting the two windows in this morning and we cleaned up that entire room got just about everything painted including trim and uh, molding and the areas so cutting in around those things painted the walls in the in the big room over over yonder where now the now the light's coming in nice and bright because the sun's on that side so got all that done um and i'm excited because i actually think at this point we're gonna get that drywalled tomorrow, which would be awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna go and get some materials to make sure that I have what I need to get that done correctly. I just ordered the flooring again for this room. Uh, probably not gonna start on that tomorrow, but I'll at least get, get it picked up and hauled upstairs. They're like, I don't know how much they weigh per 
per container, but it's like 25 square feet and I got 18 to haul up. I have that to look forward to, but that's, that's for tomorrow me to deal with. Today me is just excited because I'm feeling pretty good about what I get done. If you like this channel, uh, please like and subscribe. You know, let me know I'm doing the right thing uh, or not. <laughs> I'm good either way. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. We'll see you next time.